That was the dire warning issued Monday by one of America's largest food processors, Tyson Foods. Our Cash Matlock joins us live in the studio with a breakdown of what this all means. Cash. Well, Joey, as more people test positive for the coronavirus across the nation, more food processing facilities will be forced to close. Infected workers can mean indefinite shutdowns. And this means less meat will be available at grocery stores, and what is left won't be cheap. We, we could find ourselves in America and across the country with inadequate food supply, uh, particularly meat products. On Monday, Governor Tate Reeves addressed the food chain issue in his daily press conference. The issue received national attention after the chairman of Tyson Foods took out ads with the Washington Post and the New York Times. We cannot find ourselves in a situation uh, in which livestock or other uh, things that we depend on as part of the nation's food supply are, are rotting while we're running out of food across the country. Jack Herkamp produces corn in Noxubee County. 100% of his crop is sold as livestock feed, primarily for chickens. When a chicken plant shuts down, Herkamp has no place to sell his feed. If you stay shut down, then that starts backing up feeding, and feeding is what we do. We're raising the corn that goes to the feed. He says if he were to try to sell his corn today, he would not be able to turn a profit. Looking at the market and looking at demand, which we, we watch all the time, I look at it every day, our corn price is down a lot. So far, processing plants in Noxubee County are open. Here at Pico Foods in Brooksville, it's business as usual. Employees tell WCBI that another female employee tested positive for COVID-19 on Sunday. The plant remains open today. Now, insiders say that the factory is cleaned every single night to ensure the safety of all employees. We've reached out to the Brooksville plant as well as the Pico Foods headquarters for a comment and they have yet to get back to us. Dr. Thomas Hobbs with the Mississippi Department of Health says most of the food processing plants within the state are cooperating with proper health regulations. They have been very receptive to recommendations for making things safe and have actually been extremely innovative. And some of the things that they've done, especially around making sure that their employees are wearing PPE um, or have other environmental things built in that would minimize transmission. Well, that quote was from a Dr. Thomas Hobbs, or Dobbs, rather. Now, Hercamp says that he's holding out hope for his November corn crops, and he hopes that by then the price of corn will be above profit margin.